On the 1st of September 2021, the Vauxhall Wattman became the fastest electric motorcycle in the world, with an official top speed of 455.737 km an hour or 283.182 miles per hour. The record was set at the Kennedy Space Shuttle facility in Florida in the USA. Hello and welcome to Moto Chatter, let's dive into the details. It all began in 2009 when the French motorcycle brand Voxen had gone into liquidation. In 2010 it was bought by the Venturi Group. Venturi are based in Monaco and have a successful history of going fast with electric motors, having competed in the Formula E race series between 2013 and 2022, clocking up 13 podiums including 8 wins plus a second place in the championship in the 21-22 season. They have also set themselves a number of challenges using electric vehicles which they call missions. For example, their mission number one was the development of the fastest electric car, the Venturi VBB-3, setting a record of 549 km an hour or 341 miles per hour in 2016. In mission two, they were the power behind an electric Citroen Berlingo that was driven from Shanghai to Paris unaided and covered a distance of 14,900 km. That's the longest distance covered by an electric vehicle without assistance. The same vehicle was driven from Kenya to South Africa, becoming the first electric vehicle to cross Africa without assistance, which was Venturi's Mission 4. They have others, including missions to explore the polar regions using electric vehicles. You can check out their website for more details if that interests you. What interests us here in this video is Mission 5, the fastest electric motorcycle in the world, which they accomplished with the Voxen Wattman. The bike is designed by Venturi Voxen designer Sasha Lack and it uses a predominantly carbon fibre construction for the body parts and has an aerospace grade steel trellis chassis. It is powered by the same Mercedes-Benz EQ electric motor as Venturi's Formula E race car. The bike weighs 296 kilos with its fairings on and 276 kilos in naked form. The Wattman has a Voxen designed 829 volt 15 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery which makes up around 50% of its total weight. Maximum power is said to be 300 20 kilowatts which translates to 435 horsepower. The bike's design includes a single-sided swing arm both at the front and the back, each having a monoshock for damping. The dual swing arm design no doubt makes it more stable, and being single-sided makes wheel changing easy, which is something they have to do regularly to put in new tyres. And for the speed runs the bike uses Michelin Power RS Plus tyres. The Voxen Wattman is a long motorbike, measuring 2,700mm or just over 106 inches in total length, with a wheelbase of 1,957mm around 77 inches. You may have noticed that there is no front brake. This is both to aid aerodynamics and for safety, as it would be catastrophic to lock the front wheel on a speed run and as they have plenty of space to slow the bike down, they don't have any need for a front brake anyway. There is though a 305mm disc brake with a 4 piston caliper at the rear. Cooling is provided by an unconventional system too, using a water dry ice heat exchanger, which has a tank that requires replenishing after each run. This ensures that cool liquid can be pumped through the powertrain without the need for an aerodynamically hindering radiator stuck at the front of the bike. Although the official top speed for the record is 283.182 miles per hour, this is the average of two runs over a kilometer in opposite directions. While achieving the record, the GPS actually recorded a peak speed of 292.204 miles per hour on one of the runs. Electric or combustion powered, that is a very fast bike. And a fast bike needs a fast rider. Voxen sought the services of none other than four time 250cc world champion, two times world super bike champion and three time GP vice champion Max Biaggi. He has a total of 182 podiums including 63 wins and 66 pole positions in world championship racing and now he has a total of 26 motorcycle speed records to his name. You see Max Biaggi set a fastest electric motorcycle speed record back in 1994 on board a Farsi Agraf. The speed was much slower than on the Vauxhall Wattman at 164.2 km an hour although it was quite 
quite a long time ago. Biagi had also set some records on the Vox and Wattman in earlier runs. But the record of 455 kilometers an hour or 283 miles per hour set by Biagi and the Vox and team on the 1st of December 2021 at the Kennedy Shuttle facility was for the sub 300 kilo partially streamlined category with a flying start. But that wasn't all they did. That day they set a total of 21 speed records with the bike, including the over 300 kilo partially streamlined flying start record at 408 kilometers an hour or 253 miles per hour. I won't list all 21 records here, but the other records include a combination of standing starts as well as flying starts and running the bike with and without the fairings or non-streamlined over three distances of a kilometer, a mile and a quarter mile. And as with the fastest speed records, they did these in both the under and over 300 kilo categories. A couple of highlights are the fastest non-streamlined record that stands at 370 kilometers an hour or 230 miles per hour. That was with a flying start and was set over the one kilometer distance in the sub 300 kilo category. The fastest standing start was over a mile distance where they achieved 273 kilometers an hour or 169 miles per hour in the partially streamlined under 300 kilo category. Check out the Vox and Motors website for a list of all the other records. But the record breaking Vox and Wattman is not the only Vox and Wattman they made. There is a road going Vox and Wattman. It was launched in 2013 and was strictly made to order. It has an aluminium exoskeleton which integrates its electric powertrain and rather than a front swing arm it has conventional upside down forks. It also has carbon fibre wheels but being an electric bike it is heavy to the tune of 350 kilos that's over 770 pounds. Despite this thanks to its 150 kilowatt or 208 horsepower and 200 newton meter output it has a 0 to 60 mile per hour time of 3.4 seconds and can reach 100 miles per hour or 160 kilometers an hour in just six seconds from a standing start. Although it won't go much faster as the top speed is limited to 170 kilometers an hour or around 105 miles per hour. Range was said to be 180 kilometers around 112 miles but there is no data on charge times nor on price. Although if you can find one or convince Foxen to build you a new one I guess you can expect it to be very expensive. I'll leave you now on board with Max Biagi. If you liked the video, remember to like and subscribe for more. Either way, have a great day and thanks for watching.